Hi, this is Photo Team, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Nikon D40 Digital SLR camera along with the 18 to 55 millimeter AFS second edition ED kit lens. Here we go. There are a few cons and several pros of this lens or the camera. The pros are it's it's Nikon's lightest digital SLR. It was the world's lightest digital SLR for well over a year, and recently the Olympus E410 beat it in weight. But um, it does fairly staggering one four thousandth of a second top shutter speed, which is pretty nice for this compact of a camera. Has a two and a half inch LCD, which is a lot for again this side of a camera. It doesn't have a PC port. It doesn't have a shutter cord port. It's got uh, a video out port and a USB port. That's about it. It uses an extremely compact battery. An icon LE like 15 or something like that. So there's all of that. Um, the back, again, the eye cup. They don't make many attachments for it, but that's fine. Um, it's got a shutter dial on the back instead of right in front or behind the shutter button. It's got an AE lock button, all of these little selection switches, a delete button, a zoom in, zoom out button, a menu button, and a playback button. There's your diopter adjustment. It comes with a metal hot shoe that's generally better than stock or at least a silver colored hot shoe. Has all of your standard modes plus more scenic modes. Um, the kit lens, it's, mm, I'd say it weighs about 10 or 11 ounces. It's about two and a half inches long minimum extension. Full extension, it's about three inches. Full extension with autofocus extension, it's about three and three quarters inches, which is extremely compact for a, you know, kit lens, but it does an internal focus, so it's not the best lens for circular polarizer. All right, well, the cons of this camera, it has an AFS lens mount. Nikon makes like 16 or 17 lenses, and the cheapest one is this kit lens. And generally, this lens, the 55 by 200, the 55 by 200 VR, the 18 to 55 VR, and the 70 to 300 VR are the only five under $600 that are that will mount on this camera and at least autofocus. You can use other Nikon lenses like D or G. All they'll do, they'll do everything except they want 3D color matrix meter and they won't autofocus, which is very crucial. Um, so. That's not so great, but generally, you know, if you got the 18 to 55 and the 55 by 200, they're both AFS, you're okay. Another thing, it's almost too compact for some people. You know, say you've got your thumb on the back, your finger on the shutter button, and you can fit about two fingers right here on the grip. Most people want to try to squeeze their whole hand on this. It's a very tight fit. You can do it, but... It's, it's hard to do and generally gets pretty cramped. Some off brands do make a battery pack for it. None of them have a vertical shutter. They're just battery packs by Onsman and Digital Concepts. They're anywhere from $50 to $180. But um, that's the 18 to 55 in the Nikon D40 for you. We're going to be doing a review of the Kasina 70 by 210 millimeter and the Nikon SP400 along with the Gary Fong Puffer. So stay tuned and keep watching Photo Team.